I don't eat barbecue sauce. What? No. What do you mean, bro? I don't do drip. I just do art. I'm feeling something inside of my body. <laughs> Here's the thing. Our penises look different. Huh? Ladies and gentlemen, the man to my right is an NBA champion and he puts the A in a vet class. This is Serge Ibaka. Welcome, sir. Thank you, Kavi. Thank you. You are a renaissance man of, of sorts. You live and breathe culture, whether it's in, it's in music, it's in fashion, sports, cuisine. You might write a book someday. And in this conversation, I want to explore five senses with Serge Ibaka. Okay. Taste, touch, sight, smell, and speech. Let's start with touch. <laughs> okay, so you've, Serge, you, you started your career as a man that was made out of marble. You roamed the paint, you, ran to, you, you rolled to the rim, and now you've transitioned to veteran, leader, champion guy. Fewer minutes, and you know, still gonna roam the paint, maybe hit the occasional three. What are your expectations for 2023? For me, I always try to do my best I can to be the best version of me every year when I come back. I do that for, for myself first. You know, and then that's why I find joy doing that. Wonderful. You are aging like fine wine. Somebody call my wife, tell her I'm coming home active. Did somebody turn? <laughs> huh? Huh? And you're more handsome than the last time I saw you. So this is a, a different version of uh, search. I'd like to explore sight and speech next. You say famously, I don't do fashion. I do art. I don't. I don't do drip or money or fashion. I do art. So me it's about art. That's it. All right, fair enough. Fashion is art. People, people understand that. I don't just dress. I don't do swag. You know. I don't do drip. I just do art. Yeah, I'm. I'm feeling something inside of my body, right? Okay. So now that I have the artist next to me, I'd like to. Using sight, I want you to revisit some art and then through your speech, I want you to contextualize it for us. Okay. Okay? Now, correct me if I'm wrong. The languages you speak are English, French, Spanish. Yeah. And Romance? Lingala. Oh, Lingala. Lingala. It's, Lingala. Yeah, There's Lingala. A, not Lingala. 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 Yes, yeah, it's romantic. Lingala. Like, yes, we can go for dinner later. Yes, there are three images here. Okay. That I'd like to Oh, you, he was ready, ready, huh? Too sexy for this chain, too sexy for your game, too sexy for this fame, yeah, yeah. This, this red shirt, yeah. a tapered jean, a nice suede boot. Can you describe this look, but in French, please? In uh, French. S'il vous plaît. Okay, ce style-là, c'est vraiment chic et avec classe. Est-ce que tu comprends? Oui, je comprends. Ouais, c'est hein? vraiment chic avec classe parce que t'as vu la chemise, un peu rouge, simple. Can we do one button down next time? Because you have you have two buttons. Listen, can we go okay, listen. I can I can go down? one button down, but now it's like I'm forcing. You're forcing it. You know what I mean? I don't have to force. Okay. <laughs> I'm tall already. Go somewhere where everybody's gonna look at you already. It's enough. I'm good with that. Okay, Serge, I'd like to introduce you to the looks like game and salute to the Dan Lebertard show. I have four options, and you tell me which description best describes this look. Serge Ibaka looks like what Jay Z thinks he sees in the mirror. He looks like he has a cocktail named after him at the SLS Hotel in London called Happy Ending. Serge Ibaka looks like the guy she told you not to worry about, or Serge Ibaka looks like he's never chased bad money or bad girls. I like the last one. <laughs> He's never chased bad money or bad women? Yes. Okay, wonderful. I like the last one. Uh, the next look, Serge. This was in the cultural zeitgeist for a minute. Please describe this look. Uh, and now uh, with it's Spanish, please. In Spanish. In Spanish. This oversized scarf and all these other elements of your Bueno, ese estilo es un estilo de muestra que es, soy un maestro en la moda. Okay. And then, what, and then what did you just say in, in English? Maestro en la moda. Maestro. Yeah. It's not maestro. No, no maestro, no. Okay. no. No restaurant maestro. <laughs> no, no, there. Okay. Maestro. Ma, no, I don't. De la know. moda. La moda is mean fashion. They mean moda. Like modern. Ma, yeah, la mode. La, la mode. mode. Now, Serge, where did you get this scarf? One day I wake up in the morning, I got vision. Okay. You know, and I decide, you know what, I'm gonna put that, this vision into reality. And then I have my team. Empire customers. I work with, a lot with them. Now, just for the record, okay. it was you or OG that started scarves? OG, stop OG. 
You see what you started, OG? I put you on how to dress. You put me on? Yeah. OG, B Balenciaga stop, ones. OG. Uh, you better stop, OG. I like my scarves a lot. And you copied that. So I think I'm done here. I you I've been playing NBA for 14 years. How many years OG be playing? OG, how many? OG has played it. probably four years? OK. Maybe, maybe this is his fifth year. So you're flexing your bona fides. You're like, OG, I'm the, I'm the OG. That's all I can say. OK. OK. Uh, that's, that's not mean we call you OG. You're not OG. <laughs> I'm the real OG, OG. I think he knows that. Again, what the looks like. I have four descriptions. You give us the one that you bet that best describes this look. Okay. Serge Ibaka looks like his crypto holdings lost 70% of its value this morning based on the look. Serge Ibaka looks like his Starbucks order is a grande chai tea latte, three pumps, skim milk, light water, no foam, extra hot. He looks like he summers in France or he looks like he'll keep the scarf hanging so that you don't feel insecure. Which line best describes this look? Um, I like the French one. He summers in France. Yes. Okay. Uh, and finally, Serge, this look here with yeah. the green blazer, the tapered pants, the chunky shoe. Um, can you describe this one in English for us, sir? Like, English. give us the context of how you put this one together and where these pieces came This from. one, all I can say is, this is art. So me is about art, that's it. That's all you're gonna give us? That's all I'll give you guys. You know, sometimes you don't have to say a lot. You let the clothes speak for themselves? Yeah. To understand this, you have to be an art lover. And finally, for the looks like game, the last one, I promise mm -hmm. you. Serge Ibaka looks like uh, turtlenecks over ties any day of the week in this particular photo. Mm -hmm. He's headed to an underappreciated internship. <laughs> he ordered an Uber XL and an Uber X arrived. And then finally, Serge looks like he just looked at his credit card statement for the first time in two months. <laughs> based on the look on your face. Which, which should, one best describes? It should be more focused on the outfit, not my, my face. You know, but when I'm the game face, I'm going to the game. This is you arriving at the game? Yes, exactly. Oh. So it's my game face. Okay. I'm like in. Okay, you, I'll, I'll let you decide who this one. This, what do you think? My, Uber, like, you based look, on my face. You look like you ordered an Uber XL and then an Uber X arrived. Okay. If you say so. How hungry are you was, was culturally significant. And thank you for introducing a wide array of culinary delights. Yes. So we are excited. You're doing another season of How Hungry Are You, which is phenomenal. Yes. The most famous episode involved Kawhi Leonard eating a beef penis pizza. The penis chewy? Stop saying that. <laughs> you don't know this, but I also ate a beef penis pizza. Like every bite has a uh, thing in it. Protein in it. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing: our penises look different. Huh? Our penises on the pizza look different. Like yours was. Uh, no, it was not me. It was not mine. They, they were hey, 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 hey. And mine was uh, a pity per uh, penis. What do you mean mine? It was not mine. Well, not like where you got the protein from, like the. Okay, yeah, but you have to don't say it was mine. It was not mine. It wasn't your penis. Uh, uh, English or Spanish, <laughs> French. Our pizzas just look different. Different, yeah, just say that. That's, that sound better. Our pizzas look different. That sound better. Yours was more substantial than mine, so. Yeah, because my pizza, who made your pizza? I went to a local place in Toronto, but I had to get the beef penis from Alberta, bro, okay, but... and fly it on a plane here. And... Did you have to declare your penis? <laughs> <laughs> but the difference is your, your pizza, they cooked your pizza. Mine, I design. I don't cook. Okay, that's the difference. So that's that's where you can get different. Okay, well next time I'd like you to design something more delicious for me to eat. Okay, I will. It was the worst you. day of my life professionally. I'm just gonna man up, swallow, and then it's what? <laughs> <laughs> As a food designer, you have yeah. the cultural exchange is not just on the borders of the continent of Africa. It's global. Mm. It's global. Yeah. I would like to have a cultural exchange with you on some Canadian cuisine, and the specific. Canadian cultural experience of after the game, after the bar, food. Serge, we have the traditional poutine. Okay. Yeah, come get some of these. Come get some of these vapors, my. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Traditional yeah, I, I poutine. Have poutines. Yeah, I had poutine before. Of course, I lived here for like for what four years. I have to, man. This is this is bacon double cheeseburger, Serge. Ooh. And this one here, pardon my reach. This one's called the junkyard dog. Okay. Serge, now please. We'd like you to try the poutine and then we'd like you to give us your thoughts in French. So please, bon appetit. 
Merci. Let me try this first. What is poutine? What is uh, inside here? This French fries, cheese curds, and gravy. It is okay. phenomenal. I'm on a diet. You know that, right? <laughs> well, I'm not you, sure that. Have you, you ever put this kind of fuel in your body? Uh, or do you just this? Uh, this is for fun. I eat this for fun on my cheat days. This is all cheese. It's yeah, the white cheese. chunks are yeah cheese curds. Yes. Ooh, okay. Now, Serge, how many cheat days do you have, my friend? Do you have one or two a week, or more like one or two a month? Well, uh, once a week, cheat days. Where I eat um, burger or fried rice. Okay. Dumplings. Dumplings are, okay. are delicious. That's all right, this is good. Okay. I had it before. I had Give us your before. thoughts on Francais. How do you feel about this one? Well, ouais, ça c'est 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 comment je peux dire ça? Um, c'est cool. C'est cool. Okay, ouais. c'est cool. C'est cool. <laughs> okay, next one. This is the bacon double cheeseburger. Oh, let me try. It. Yeah, get a good get a good scoop in there, Serge. Hmm. Uh. I like this one. Okay. But not en français, s'il vous plaît. Oui, j'aime j'aime trop. Celle-ci j'aime trop. J'aime trop. Ouais, ouais. C'est pas trop bien pour manger tous les jours, mais c'est 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 bien. Yeah, each bite is 4000 calories, my friend. Exactly. How many times do you think I eat this in a week? Just look at my body. No, I don't want to look at your body. <laughs> the answer is every day. Sort of. No. Yeah, no this way. is why I look like this, bro. No. There's no way. This is good. I like it. Okay. And finally the junkyard dog. Ooh, what's the barbecue sauce? Barbecue. Oh, there's you know, I don't, I don't like, I don't, I don't eat barbecue sauce. What? No. What do you mean, bro? I don't eat barbecue sauce, but I will give it a try. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. That's the that's the wildest thing you've said in 2022. Really? Yes. You don't eat barbecue sauce? Yes. Um, you can ask all my my teammates, my friends, all my ex teammates. They wow. know they know I don't eat um, barbecue barbecue sauce. Is so delicious, bro. So what do you put on your chicken wings? O OG, OG, no. <laughs> Uh, you better stop, OG. I'm not a big fan of this one. This is okay. Traditional is okay. Bacon double cheeseburger. Yeah, this That's is me. It. That you co -sign. If, yeah, if I want to have my cheat days, I'm going to go with this one. Since you are a legend in culturally and in the NBA as, as a champion, and uh, and you have this legendary show, and it's been uh, wonderful speaking with you, and uh, and hopefully, Every day you go to work, you feel like the best version of Surge, and you perform like the best version of Surge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's how I feel. You know, that's how that's 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 my way of enjoying life. You know, to be grateful for everything. That's my way. Uh, Serge, merci beaucoup for this conversation. Merci à toi. And uh, good luck this season. I wish I knew how to say that in French. Bonne chance cette année. Bonne chance cette année. Ouais, merci beaucoup. Uh, can I eat your poutine? You can have everything you want. Wonderful. <laughs>